Valerie. This is Mr. Reggie again. This is lesson two on the bow hold and, and also on uh, drawing a straight bow. First of all, I want to show you the chart one more time. I got a little better light here. I hope you can see it. Where the green is. Those five points where you're going to touch the, the bow. Five points with your hand. With your thumb and four fingers. And also, you want your thumb to be half on the end bump of the frog and half on the wood. So half on the black and half on the brown, like this. Right there. See if you can really get up. Now, you do not want your thumb in the frog's mouth in here. It, the thumb, that, that mouth of the frog there is not for the thumb. So... Easy way to remember is you wouldn't want to stick your thumb in a frog's mouth. Yucky, right? Okay, so that's easy to remember. And also, I forgot to mention a little bit of space. You can see a little bit of space between each finger, and that's good. You don't want a lot of space, and you don't want no space. You want just a little bit of space. So especially watch out for a lot of space, too much space. You don't want too much space. And let's go ahead and call all three of these huggers, or wrapping fingers, instead of just these two. Let's call all three of them. And that is pretty much the bow hold. And to fit an egg here with your somewhat of your straight thumb or a little bit of a bent thumb. And now I'm going to show you um, one quick thing with the left hand. I forgot to mention on the left hand, I'm just going to throw this in. Uh, when you're doing your left hand on the violin, you do not want your hand to collapse. That's called the pizza waiter or the pizza wait pizza waitress. Pizza waiter. That means you've been waiting pizzas. Been a pizza waitress at Pizza Hut like this, walking around with pizzas, and that's fine. I love pizza, but it's just not for violin. It doesn't work for playing the violin. So that's, you want your wrist to be straight here. You can take your violin bow like that and make sure it's straight like that and not the pizza waitress like that or waiter. And then to draw a straight bow, first learn the middle third, one third, and then the upper third, and then the lower third. You learn that last. And then you got the whole bow. And that's going to be your E string, the middle third. <laughs> That's the easiest place to draw a straight bow. And a straight bow is when the bow is like this. Not like this, not like that, but straight. Like a cross, but not like an X. Or an X, not like an X, but like a cross. It's a right angle. The bow is a right angle with the string. And then when you get to the tip, a lot of students will do this. They'll go crooked that way. They... Very few people will go crooked that way. It's, it's almost always they make, make the mistake this way. So what you want to do is make up for that or compensate for that. When it starts going that way, you just reach out with your bow hand and keep it straight. And then the middle third is straight. So this goes crooked. You fix it like that. And then at the, at the frog... You want the bow straight, and you want it, the bow is going to tilt away from you, the wood away from you like this, a 45 degree angle. And um, your teacher can explain that to you, a 45 degree angle, but it tilts away from you. The reason for that is to help you draw a straight bow close to the frog. Alright, and then a lot of students, when they get to the frog, they go this way. They go crooked that way. Not many people go crooked that way. So if, if your bow does a little bit of this at the frog, you want to point the tip of the bow away from you or uh, move the frog this way but a little bit so that you get a straight bow. And then you have the whole bow, your down bows and your up bows. And 
when you're at the frog, you want your wrist up a little bit. You don't want it real high like that, but you don't want it flat at the at the frog. You want it up a little bit, kind of like an upside down V, kind of like right there, a little bit, a mountain. A mountain there, and then in the middle of the bow, you want your wrist to be straight, a plane right here, and then at the tip of the bow, you want a valley right there. You want a valley. So you have a mountain, a plane, and then at the tip, you have a valley, and then you reverse that. I hope that is helpful. Thank you and good luck.